Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked what is wrong with the following equation, x squared plus x minus six over x minus two is equal to x plus three. So to understand what is wrong with it, we first have to understand how they even get to this. So if we take x squared plus x minus six, and we divide it by x minus two, the way we simplify this is we say, okay, let's factor this. So we need two numbers that multiply to negative six, and add to one. So that's um, three and negative two. So we have x plus three times x minus two divided by x minus two. So we cancel these out and we get x plus three. So that's the equation that we get here, but we're missing a caveat that comes with doing this step. If we are eliminating x from two, x minus two from the denominator, then that means that we lose a domain restriction, where in this original fraction, and this one before we cross anything out, x minus two cannot equal zero, and therefore x cannot equal two. There's no such domain restriction here, so we have to add in, this is equal to x plus three given that x is not equal to two. So that's what's wrong with it, it's missing a domain restriction. However, in view of part A, I explain why the limit as x approaches 2 of this side is equal to the limit as x approaches 2 of this side. Since this is equal to this for all values other than x is um, equal to 2, if we're looking not at the point where x is equal to 2, but the points around it and the behavior of these two functions approaching x equals 2, they're going to be identical because these equations are identical other than at a singular point, which does not come into effect here. Right? Remember that the limit has nothing to do with what's actually happening at the point itself, but what the function is doing as we get closer and closer to this certain x value. 